In this video, we're going to explain osmosis in a little bit more detail than we did over on TikTok. So hopefully you all know your definition of osmosis by now. Let's just write it down to check that we do. So osmosis is the diffusion of water down the water potential gradient. Or as an alternative to that, we can say it's the diffusion of water from a higher water potential to a lower water potential, because that means down the water potential gradient. This is the symbol that we'll use for water potential just to save us some time because we are lazy scientists. The other thing we should say in a definition is that it does occur across a partially permeable membrane. So for example, the cell surface membrane is a partially permeable membrane. This is different to diffuse, diffusion, isn't it? Because diffusion doesn't have to take place across a partially permeable membrane. Like you can just spray some air freshener over here and it will diffuse across the room. Whereas osmosis always takes place across a partially permeable membrane. Just like diffusion, it is passive, which means it does not require energy or it does not require ATP to be hydrolyzed to release energy. Okay, now in my video on TikTok, we did go a little bit more in depth into exactly what this water potential gradient things mean. So let's just explain that again. When we say it's going from a region of higher water potential, if a solution has a higher water potential, what that means is it's got a lower concentration of solute. So there's less solute dissolved in the solution. The less solute dissolved in the solution, so the less salt or the less sugar that's dissolved, the higher the water potential will be. So pure water with no solute dissolved in it has the highest water potential. If we've got a solution with a lower water potential, what that means is it's got a higher concentration of solute dissolved in it. So there's more salt or more sugar, higher concentration dissolved in the water that will reduce the water potential and it will get more and more negative and lower, a lower water potential. So water's always going from a higher water potential to a lower water potential, or you can look to see it will be going from where there's a lower concentration of solute to where there's a higher concentration of solute. Let's think about some factors now that actually affect the rate of osmosis. And you'll recognize these as factors that also affect the rate of diffusion of other particles as well. So for example, temperature would affect the rate of osmosis. And we should understand why. We understand that if you increase temperature, you're gonna increase the kinetic energy of the water molecules, which means they're gonna move faster by osmosis. So increasing the temperature would increase the rate of osmosis. The other thing to consider is the surface area. If you increase the surface area, again, we can increase the rate of osmosis simply because there's more surface over which osmosis can take place. So if you've got a folded cell membrane, for example, then the rate of osmosis across that cell membrane will be faster. These are all the same as factors that affect just normal diffusion, right? The other thing is diffusion distance, or you could say the thickness of the surface over which osmosis is taking place. And with this one, the shorter the diffusion distance or the thinner the surface that osmosis is taking place over, the faster the rate. Okay, so the shorter the diffusion distance, the faster. But the other one that we need to think about, and this is probably the one that's most important, is the water, oh, don't need to write potential because that symbol means water potential, the water potential gradient, okay? Now, water potential gradient means the difference in water potential between two regions. So if you have a steeper, 
water potential gradient, as in you've got a really high water potential over here and a really low water potential over here. So there's a big difference in water potential. If it's steeper like that, you're going to increase the rate of osmosis. If on the other hand you have a shallow water potential gradient, so let's say the water potential is only slightly higher over here than it is over here, and in fact there's quite similar amounts of solute dissolved either side of the membrane, that would be a much shallower water potential gradient and the rate of osmosis would be much slower. Anything else that we need to add? Let's just quickly compare osmosis to diffusion. Like diffusion, it is passive. Like diffusion, we've got the movement of particles from a higher concentration to a lower concentration. But with osmosis, it's water that we're talking about. So we call it a water potential gradient. And with osmosis, it always takes place across a partially permeable membrane. And I think that's pretty much all you need to know as a good starter for osmosis.